All right, guys, so let's talk pokies. So I had uh, Tigrino Maselli, Miranda, Vitata. There's a Regalis, you know. And then behind me, there is uh, Safuska Lowland and Fasciata. If you follow any of my Instagram stuff, you would have seen the pictures of when I got them. And uh, they're so fucking cool. Love pokies. If you're gonna play with pokies, rehouse pokies, do anything with pokies, watch your fingers, man. Uh, the last thing you wanna do is get tagged on it. It hurts. Right, man, let's start with this one. This is Subfusca, so the lowland Subfusca. The reason I'm starting with this is you can probably see she's out. Catching porkies out in the daytime is quite rare, especially ones like Subfusca because they are quite photophobic, even though this one seems to be absolutely fine. So I'm gonna open this very gently. And I'm gonna keep the camera away for a bit. There she is. This is uh, my new piece of Fusca, so a postal theory of some Fusca. Lowland. She's in a bioactive planted vivarium. So in here we've got in the back, on the right of the picture is Begonia with an aluminium plant. We've got some um, Wandering Jew in there, some um, Macravia, uh, which is my favorite uh, vivarium plant. That there underneath the spider is Macravia, just here. Well, she is one of the Nicest examples of Sofusco I've seen for a long time. Nice and dark lowland. She looks freshly malted as well. So if you've got a lowland male out there, let me know. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with this uh, enclosure for now. Um, I'm gonna let it all grow in. I water it every day or every other day. Um, it's good because Sipfusca are high humidity pokey and I think she'd be perfectly suited for this kind of uh, enclosure. This is a uh, new puzzle theory of fasciata in a, a temporary kind of enclosure at the moment, just because I had it planted basically. But it's 30 centimeters tall. So it's the same height as my other pokey um, uh, in, uh, enclosures. So we've got some moss here, some nice leaves. Have just fallen out some seed pods and things. Well, always a water bowl. There's uh, some aluminium plants, some philodendron, uh, some clanthia in there, and I'm just going to leave it uh, just to grow in and grow in and grow in. Let's go hunting for the spider so I can see legs just here. Nice bit of webbing there already, lovely. If I can just move this 
not disturbing her. Nope, she's a bit twitchy. There she is, and there's the fantastic yellow flash on the ventral side of the uh, the legs, the underside of the legs. Now we can see her eyes. She's doing the full porky pose. On the side of the glass there. She's been walking about for a while. So that is Prostotheria fasciata. They're grouped together with uh, Regalis and Regalis and Striata. So they're very, very similar to Regalis, but without the the cream band, the uh, ventral abdominal band that's underneath Regalis. Super easy way to tell them apart. Let's pop this back. I don't want to disturb it too much. Ooh. Now, if you saw the abdomen on this one, this one is on a massive diet. Came to be fat as fuck. And uh, Porky's not great fat as fuck. Not in my opinion, anyway. There we are, I just pulled this one off the shelf now. Now, this is regardless that uh, I, st I planted um, and it's, it's just no good. The, the lights aren't strong enough on the shelf. They're just for show rather than for plants. So I will swap that out for something a bit more suitable for growing plants. Now the mosses and um, what do they call it? Oh shit, I can't remember what the, the climbing thing is called. That's fine. But for these, this, this is crap. So it needs new water, not water in there. Now, regardless, as I said earlier, I might as well just pull that out, look. I might be able to save that. So, regardless is the iconic kind of uh, porky, the one you see on everything, the Indian ornamental. One of the first ones to come into the hobby and they never disappoint. They are awesome. And we're going to just... Oh, it's stuck on the ceiling. Okay. Well, I'm going to need to look now underneath. Keep my... Uh... Oh, there she is. So, um... Forgive me a second, I'm actually not going to really give a shit about the, which way the camera looks and stuff. But she's on this bit of bark here. Now this is the spider that started it all for me. That started it all with pokies for me. This is the Indian Ornamental, Postotheria regalis, and I don't think you can get a better looking spider than, uh, than these. Yellow warning flash underneath the ventral side of legs one and two. And uh, Pokies are going to be harder and harder and harder to get. So it's, oh, so it's important that we make sure it's important that we make sure to breed these properly and we don't hybridize and that we um, ensure that they are here and are and with us forever. Now it's not something that we can do is breed and release. That's just daft because most I say most. There's a lot of keepers out there who are not, um, well, can't be trusted really to breed the right ones with the right ones. And there's a lot of people out there who just don't give a shit. 
I'll breed anything with anything. The porkies will breed together because of the same genus. But uh, I think you'll find that they are absolute darlings if you treat them with a little bit of respect. What I'll do is I'll just pop this one straight back in and feed the, uh, fill the water bowl and we'll get on with uh, well, there's not much else that's arrived really. There is uh, another bunch of spiderlings because I really want to be breeding this one. So I bought a ton of spiderlings so we can get some males on the go. And I will be, honestly, just almost all my collection will be dedicated to building up pokies. So last thing is I bought a, a load of uh, Regalis slings as well and I'll do, be doing the same with every pokey I've got, just buying a bunch of spiderlings, growing them on for males. So there's, you can see there, just hanging out on the top there. And um, I love these vents, uh, you basically drill them into it and then close them up, brilliant. I'm using these pots now for my arboreal spiderlings and also for tiny little uh, fruit fly uh, cultures. But well chuffed, well happy. Uh, okay, so that's it basically for the pokies of today. Uh, my first video back since my mum passed away. Um, so I'd really like to thank everyone who's hung in with me. I'm sorry I haven't posted anything proper in a couple of months. Uh, thank you to everyone for uh, you know your sympathies and well wishes and condolences. Uh, cheers, guys. Uh, it was a tough time, uh, but and I didn't want anything to do with spiders or YouTube or anything. You know, I, I just thought it was fucking trivial at the time. Uh, but now I'm back. You can see as well that underneath here, it, for the first time in well since I started this channel, it now shows how many subscribers I've got. Uh, the reason being is that. Uh, I lost so many subscribers over the last three months that I thought, fuck it, I don't, it, it doesn't matter anymore. So that number down there doesn't matter. So thank you if you are one of those numbers, and you're still one of those numbers, but who really, who really cares about how, how big that number is anyway? We're here for this, we're here for spiders, I don't matter, the spiders matter on this channel, so cheers guys. Subscribe to the channel if you can and share some shit about um, the, the website is live so it's arachnotube.com and you can get me on info at arachnotube.com uh, Drop me an email. Podcast starts next week as well. Cheers. Stay safe guys.